Okay, I tried to make this video like a couple minutes ago, but um, my camera died, so we'll try this again. The baby's still sleeping. Hopefully he doesn't wake up. I heard him making noise, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, but I'm making this video today on um, newborn must-haves. He's almost not a newborn anymore. He's like two and a half months. But I made a little list, so let's get to it. Some of the stuff he's using right now while napping, so I'll do like a quick overview and I'll mention it in here so I don't have to like talk in front of him and wake him up. But um, so a good must have is a boppy because holding your baby all the time gets very exhausting and I breastfed him so um, you just put it around you. I'm wearing a robe, don't mind me. And then they lay here. So then you can be kind of hands free, give support. However, when I was in the hospital, I did bring this. And when you're so swollen, it didn't really like go well. And when you're trying to learn to breastfeed, like you still had to like prop it up with pillows. I mean, it worked for me, but now I see the breast, my breast friend, um, pillow and that actually goes around you and gives you back support which i feel like you really need so i mean i have this so it's fine but if i could have went back and knew about the my breast friend pillow i would have gotten that one instead so that's that and then next <clears throat> tummy time is super important and babies for their development it's really good for to, them to see shapes so this is a book my mom got, I believe. I think my mom got it for us. And it kind of just folds up like this. You can bring it with you anywhere. And it's the Tummy Time Play Board. Stimulates their eyes. And it just goes like this. There's a mirror. And then there's lots of different images, a horse lots of different animals and stuff so we've been loving that during tummy time and then I was always scared that you know he was gonna get a fever or something so I take his temperature like every day but this is really nice it just um goes in his ear I just do it like on the changing table so I can keep him still it's the safety first one so there's that and then I think the best bottles I've tried a couple this one is by far the best it's the Lansano bottles this one's the bigger size because he's starting to eat like six ounces of feeding now but I feel like it emulates the breast quite well like when I watch his sucking motion like it looks most natural with this bottle and he really likes it even though it's purple it's the only color they have but love that and then the best I'm saying the best of everything because I've tried a couple different things but um, we really like the NUC sensitive orthopedic binkies We've tried a couple different ones, um, but this is a really nice like silicone feel and then it doesn't, doesn't leave marks around his face and he can hold it up good. However, we've tried <clears throat> ones like this that's also silicone and like soft, but the nipple of it or whatever i don't really think he likes that shape it's kind of unnatural and then even though they're so cute um they're too heavy like he would have to suck so much but it just falls off his mouth and then on the lines of binkies i'm like so out of breath because i'm trying to get this done fast um he really liked this when he was a newborn just because, wait, what are these called? Oh, Wubba Nubs. 
they can lay on their chest and they'll stay in place because when they're newborns, um, it's really difficult for them to again keep it in their mouth and like it would always startle him if it fell out or whatnot because they want to suck to soothe themselves. So there's that. Sorry if I'm moving around so much. And then something we've, um, here, let me move this down. Something we've been getting into recently is, um, so I can get stuff done around the house because he's been more awake and stuff, is the Infantino... like baby carrier. I really like this because it's super easy to click on. I also have the Moby like fabric thing and I love that. However, um, we both get really hot in it. Like the baby gets overheated, I get overheated. And then plus it's just a lot of tying and wrapping around and it's really not ideal, especially if you're just trying to get stuff done around the house. And then something we use for the car seat, no matter what the weather is, is this um, Milk Snob um, car seat cover. We don't have like a winterized one or anything, but th they're only outside for like two seconds from the car into the building, so it just goes over it. Keeps him protected too from like strangers looking into his car seat because I always think that's weird. And then my aunt told me about this and it is just uh, a little sponge. It's nice for in the sink for bath time um, because right now he's so small he still fits in the sink. But for when he grows out of the sink we're going to start using... Um, this little bath thing what is this called angel care for in the tub i want to use this in the sink but our sink isn't big enough unfortunately so there's bath time stuff and then i never was good at swaddling like it's just too much and then he always broke out of it this was perfect for nighttime. I had it in newborn size and then also, oh, he's about to grow out of this though, <laughs> but it is the Swaddle Up Love to Dream. It's super nice because my baby likes his arms up when he sleeps, so they just go in here and then it zips. And it also zips from the bottom too, so here's it zipped up. And then when you're changing in the middle of the night so he doesn't get all cold, you can just zip up from the bottom too. They're a bit expensive, but I think they're great gifts for any moms that you know too, if you're just watching this. Um, it really helped him sleep better throughout the night, so. And then, oh, something else that we really love we have a swing but um he doesn't i mean he likes it but you have to like get him in the right mood for it so what we got instead is this um bouncer and it also has this attachment sometimes he likes this sometimes it overwhelms him too much um and it vibrates, bounces. And I guess going alongs of like keeping him entertained by himself while you're trying to do stuff as well. For his age, he I just started introducing him to this um, paper toy. It's baby paper. Um, and again with those high co contrast colors. And then it feels soft and then it makes that crinkle sound for him to explore. So love those items. Um, let me check my phone to see if I'm missing anything. 
because I really wanted to get this done today. Oh yeah, so also something that we use every change is, it's kind of awkward, but oh, here's his little changing station. Oh, and I love this cart. I got it from Walmart for like $30, maybe less. We just got his books, extra wipes, and then all of his changing stuff, some hand sanitizer, Aquaphor. This is really good, A and D. I put some of his diapers in here because, you know, he's a boy, so sometimes he is like peeing everywhere. <laughs> gets to be too much but anyways this is what i was talking about it's called the baby bum products and it's the butt spatula just so you don't have to get your hands all gross with the diaper cream you just scoop some on here put it on his bum bum and then you're good to go so love that and then another must have when i'm without um the refillables like i hate it this is so nice it's the diaper genie my aunt got it for me for my baby shower and the diapers just go in you can't smell a thing love that um so those are our most used products and then quickly i'm gonna sneak into my room where the baby sleeps in his bassinet um Hopefully I don't wake him. Don't mind my room. I'm changing the sheets right now. Okay, so something that we use every single day, every single night is his, um, it's this Hatch Baby Rest noise sound machine. Love that. And then to keep track of like the temperature and the humidity. And then we have the humidifier to keep our noses clear and then here's his bassinet love this thing and I have him sleeping on the docket top I just have a blanket over it I know you're not supposed to have them sleep on anything but honestly I don't know why it's that um, dangerous to people because it honestly keeps him in, in place like he's not going everywhere so use at your own discretion but i think that works best for me and i'm always going to continue to use it when he grows out of that one i'm already like trying to save up to buy the bigger size so then for in his crib and stuff but i guess while i'm at it i'm going to show you guys a quick nursery tour um it's kind of messy now because I have all this stuff around, but I'll just kind of show you it. <clears throat> so, when you walk in, all the stuff I was just showing you guys, but it is safari themed, thanks to my godmother. Still have to put a picture in there. <laughs> it's not usually messy, but... And then I use this little salt lamp at night so it's not too bright in here. So then um, we do our feedings here. Here's his toys that he's not old enough to play with yet. And then his initials. But yep, you need a nursery chair like it's a must. And then here's his crib. I love the crib skirt. So cute. Oh, this is just a little hat. It's, I guess it is kind of messy in here, but he doesn't sleep in here yet, But so I just have some stuff. His Sophie the Giraffe. We still have to set up the camera, but like I said, he just sleeps in our room with us. Here's his closet so far. It's kind of messy. Oh, and another must-have, and it smells so good, is the Dreft Newborn Detergent. I know you can just use other detergents and stuff, but now that I've been using this one, I do spend the extra money on it because it smells so good. 
and yeah i think that's about it um i think next video i'm gonna make is what's in my diaper bag or maybe just a vlog of us doing stuff but i don't know let me know subscribe like comment what you think and if you have any questions comment concerns please put them below or if you have some products that you swear by and you think i would need as well then i would love to try them out all right have a good one bye